From the CBS4 studio in Northwest Gainesville, welcome to Gainesville Game Day. Sponsored by Gatorland Toyota. Now, here's GTN News' own Phil Byrne and Gainesville Sun columnist Pat Dooley. The wait is over. College football is back, everybody. Welcome into a brand new season of Gainesville Game Day. I'm Phil Byrne, joined this season by the Gainesville Suns columnist Pat Dooley. Pat, welcome aboard. Glad to be here. Glad that it's college football season. We finally, our endless summer is over, and we're ready to get on with it because it has been a long, hot summer. It is finally over, and we are finally able to do something we absolutely love, and that is talk college football with all of you out there. Later on tonight, Coach Jim McElwain will coach his first game inside the Swamp. Pat, are the relatively low expectations suitable for this team, and where the program's at? You know, Phil, I, I think that the coaching staff has high expectations and the players do, but the fans aren't stupid. They know what this is mm -hmm. a program that's lost 15 of its last 20 or 14 of its last 25 games and returns almost nothing on the offensive line. Quarterbacks untested. They haven't seen a second receiver step up. So I think the expectations are that this is the beginning of something rather than the end of a, of a program that's been built up over time. We'll certainly have a lot of things to talk about later on today. More on the Gators in just a bit. Right now, though, let's find out what other games are happening today. The starting lineup, sponsored by Blue Highway of Pizzeria. College football is back. The first quality matchup of the day comes at you at 3.30 right here on CBS4 when Louisville and number six Auburn meet up in the Georgia Dome. Former Gator coach Will Muschamp heads up the Tiger D. Tough task in slowing down Bobby Petrino's aerial assault today. At 7 from Houston, Arizona State and Texas A&M meet up in a duel of high-scoring attacks. The Aggies don't want to start the new season on a bad note with the upcoming division schedule looming in the near future. On NBC 730, former Gator defensive coordinator Charlie Strong and the Texas Longhorns take on the Golden Domers of Notre Dame. Strong will want better quarterback play this season. Also at 730, the Gators will get the Jim McElwain era started with the opener against New Mexico State. UF has the second longest opening game win streak with 25 straight wins. And the nightcap tonight should be a good one. Number 20 Wisconsin and number 3 Alabama at AT&T Stadium in Arlington. Big game for Bama with a showdown against Ole Miss looming in week three, and they don't want a loss to start the new season. And that's today's starting lineup. A couple of really good games today with some SEC ties. Pat, are you more excited in Auburn, Louisville, or Alabama, Wisconsin? Well, you know, we're not going to see Alabama, Wisconsin, because we'll obviously be at the Florida game, but we should see almost all of that Auburn, Louisville game. I would be more excited about it anyway, because it's Will Muschamp on the sideline. Uh, we'll get a chance to see his defense that we've been hearing so much about, how, the difference he's going to make. I have talked to Will about it. He loves his front seven. They're still not sure about the back four. And, uh, of course, Bobby Petrino, very good at exploiting a bad secondary. So that's the one that I think it's kind of a make-or-break game for Auburn because if you lose that game, all of a sudden everybody goes from national champs to I don't yeah. know what's going to happen. Absolutely. So we already got Pat's expectations on the new season. Let's find out what Gainesville thinks. Here's Chelsea Brown with The Word on Campus. The Word on Campus. A new season brings new hopes that the Gators can rid themselves of the last two years. Let's see how optimistic Gator Nation is under new head coach McElwain. What's your guys' favorite part of game day in the swamp? Just the atmosphere. Like You walk in and like, it's just, it's unreal, it's indescribable. Tailgating, um, there's so many people all over campus. It's just like, everybody's friendly. What is your favorite part of Gator football? The band is always awesome. Okay. Oh, I love the pregame stuff. Pregame stuff, you know, like listening to analysis. Being with, with family and alumni and game days bring everyone together. Um, and you talk about the Gator Nation and its full force. Much champs out, McElwain's in. What do you, how do you think this new season is going to be? I think it's a lot of, not a lot of expectations. I think it's good for a new coach coming in. I think that he can have some surprises and some tricks in his bag for the teams that don't really know too much about his tendencies. He's a coach that has really high expectations for his team. Uh, and so I definitely want to see that play out. How do you think the defense is going to hold up this year? I think the defense is going to be well. Florida's always had a good defense. Like, that's their thing. You come out here with them, like, it's impossible. It's really tough against them. The September 5th game against New Mexico State. Oh, my gosh. I don't really know much about New Mexico State. Crushed. Gators <laughs> destroy them. Not a chance. <laughs> I'm going to say he's going to put us over 70 points. OK. <laughs> We'll just have to wait till tonight to see what the season holds. Reporting from the Swamp, I'm Chelsea Brown. Back to you guys. More Gainesville game day after this.